used to be able to see the chunks of earth calving off into the Snake River like a glacier and every year we'd be moving that temporary electric fence a few feet back, you know, watching the land slowly wash away, wash down river. This is a part of the Snake River Ranch that the family has been ranching since the 1940s. It feels western. It runs along the Snake River from Taylor Creek on the north to Munger Mountain on the south. It's also at the tail end of the Jackson levee system. When the levee section ends, just upstream of this project area, the Snake River has a bunch of energy from bouncing off levee to levee to levee. So it's sort of like the end of the garden hose. And that energy is dispersing onto the family's property down here on the ranch. So you have this interaction between the stream bank and a highly energetic river like the Snake, and you have an extremely erosive situation evolving over time. You have the replacement of woody riparian vegetation with agricultural pasture grasses that are really beneficial and palatable for livestock, but aren't really the most stabilizing for rivers. One of the alternatives would have been to armor the bank using rocks, which has been the traditional method. Trout Unlimited and Wyoming Game and Fish identified this section of bank as a great place to experiment with bioengineered techniques to stabilize levees that could potentially be used elsewhere on the Snake River Corridor. Just to have you all be open to working with us on it and then being able to actually do something about it is pretty cool. We're really blessed to have this stronghold for Snake River Cutthroat in these valley systems. We're increasing the complexity of the habitat to benefit fisheries species. And it creates a protective habitat so they can hide from predators, decreases stream temperatures locally. So what happens in the riparian really affects what happens in the river system. We use wood so that when energy from the stream hits the bank, it's not deflected downstream and absorbed exponentially by the downstream bank, but it's absorbed by this bank and allows for an ecologically functioning river. The riparian buffer gives the river room to spread out a little bit, but it also has materials in it that protect the land from washing away. So its outer edge has the vegetated brush bank. It's got pieces of brush and trees and root wads sticking out. Over time, it'll undercut, and that'll be really great fish habitat. Landward side, we've got riparian fence to protect all of that vegetation from cattle, and some fencing to protect some of the plantings from elk and mule deer. Allowing for wildlife to move through is really important when we're designing a lot of these projects. This is a big project. There's a lot of earth being moved. It takes a lot of construction equipment to do all this work. At this scale, this is a bit of a pilot. We're talking tens of thousands of willows, thousands of pieces of brush, hundreds of trees. Businesses and volunteers have really come together to help us get all those materials. We are just excited to get members of the community involved. We first brought them out to the project to show and explain the work that Trout Unlimited does for river restoration and then they actually helped us cut several thousands of willows we're then using in the project. Willows anchor the stream bank, which allows for less sediment input to the river, which is always beneficial for trout. I used to wrap presents, so this is the way to do it. We were able to work with the Jackson Hole Fly Fishing School at their camp and teach them the basics of fly fishing, actually go out on the river and catch fish. Oh, look, there you go. <laughs> Okay. First time. You know, at the end of the day, people are here for a reason. They care a lot about the resource and stewarding their lands and taking care of this place. The project is really a team effort between Trout Unlimited, Wyoming Game and Fish, the Conservation District, and Snake River Ranch. So it took all those groups to be aligned, do the work get the funding, find the design group, and put the project into motion. It's a project that really has a number of different benefits, not just for the family and the ranch, but also for people in the valley who care about the ecosystem.